In his characteristic manner, Alistair Crowley soon left Britain after the Jack the Ripper murders. The love letters between Prince Eddie and the young boy prostitute never surfaced in the public domain. J.K. Stephen, one of the aristocratic gang of murderers, was so ashamed and shocked by the ritual psychopathic behavior of Lord Randolph Spencer Churchill that he made his confession to Inspector Abilene at Scotland Yard. Of course, there were no arrests. In fact, Scotland Yard still, to this day, take great care to cover up the true significance and detail of the Jack the Ripper Masonic murders. When author Stephen Knight was given access to the Ripper file at Scotland Yard, he found that many important documents had been deliberately lost. Stephen Knight discovered later that some of the documents he had seen during his research for his book, Jack the Ripper, The Final Solution, had subsequently been destroyed. Soon after the publication of Jack the Ripper, The Final Solution, and also after having exposed the true nature of demonic Freemasonry in his excellent book called The Brotherhood, Stephen Knight was dead.